Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. Today I'm talking about the types of work that you can expect to do as a data scientist and how much time you can expect to actually spend on these tasks. As usual, if you find this content interesting, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. So the first activity that you're going to be doing as a data scientist is project planning. And I expect this to take about zero, from 0% to about 20% of your time on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, in some companies, this might be reserved for more senior members, but I think in the most successful companies, everyone from the director of data, scientist, of data science to a junior data scientist would be involved in this process. This is thinking about the prioritization of each of the projects, the grooming and gathering of the requirements for you know, the actual projects as well. So you can expect to do a reasonable portion of this, but I don't expect it to take a large portion of your day. Most teams uh, build this into grooming sessions or have set aside time to work on these activities. The second type of work that you can expect to do as a data scientist gets a, a lot of talk surrounding it, and this is the data cleaning, data manipulation, uh, data aggregation, and the querying component of data science. It's all manipulating and working with the data. And you can really expect to be doing this from around 20% of the time to 60% of the time. It is a large component of what you do. Um, I will say on different teams, uh, it, it can really vary greatly. So if you work in a large corporation that has a data engineering team, they might be building out tables in the database that you can just select star from, uh, or you might actually be querying all the data yourself and even scraping the data and bringing it in and cleaning it. So there's gonna be a, a sizable element of, of this day-to-day -day task uh, in any data science role that you are involved in. I'm a big believer that this skill is really important to cultivate, and I've even put together a couple quick you know, video series about how to clean it, manipulate, and uh, aggregate data. Uh, you can see those above. The next component of data science is actual data analysis. And this isn't algorithm building. This is looking at the characteristics of the data and finding trends. This is also creating cool visuals, for example, in Tableau, in Power BI, in RShiny, or in Python, Matplotlib, uh, Plotly Dash, etc. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can do here, and some data scientists might be doing this almost full time. Uh, I would expect you to be spending between 10 and 50% of your time on this type of activity. To me, the data analysis is really where data science starts to get fun. There's an element of creativity involved. You also start to really uh, learn very interesting things that, are, that can be actionable. I mean, you don't have to build a cool algorithm to be able to create business impact. You can uh, separate things into different groups and understand the trends of each group, and that can create real business value. So, you know, some people might look down on this and say, oh, you can do this in Excel. Well, that's absolutely true. Uh, that doesn't make it any less useful. The next component is actually building machine learning models and or deep learning models, uh, basically model building in general. Now, this is after you've had the clean data, you're evaluating different what what features are relevant to the model, um, what how you can tune the parameters to, to make a model as successful as possible and you're also trying to understand the evaluation criteria as well as possible you know you're looking at things like accuracy uh, precision recall things like that and those are all very relevant to the type of problem that you're trying to solve so thinking about um, a problem across all those different dimensions is, is really important i don't expect this to take you a tremendous amount of time i mean there's great ways to automate parameter tuning, great ways to automate some of these other things. So I think most data scientists spend around 10 to 40% of their time focusing on this area. And the last component is actually the implementation of the models. So this might be looked at by a lot of people as an engineering task, but I think the onus is a lot more on the data scientist or a machine learning engineer to actually implement the solution that they create. So you have this model, now what do you do with it? you have to make it into an API endpoint for a um, for another product uh, to hit, for your web page to hit, or for, uh, for it to be useful to someone. So not all data science um, 
comes out with an answer or a solution, a lot of the time there is a productionized model that is being used on a day-to-day -day basis. Things are running in real time live. Uh, and that's an important skill to cultivate. And that's also something that requires a lot of work, a lot of engineering. So if you're a data scientist, this could take up from 0% of your time, you know, you're just doing the, the previous steps, to almost 60% of your time, where this is the main focus of your job, is taking models either you create or others create and putting them into production and making sure that they are creating value for the business. As you can tell, all of these things are part of the data science life cycle. So, you know, the planning, data aggregation, descriptive statistics, actual model building and productionization. And that's how you should be framing uh, what your work is like. I mean, there's people that do most of their work on the front end of that cycle, and then there are people that do most of their work on the uh, latter, latter half of that cycle. And when you're interviewing for a job, or when you're looking at a new position, that's something you should consider. Where are you fitting into this cycle? And is that where you want to be in the cycle? You know, some, for some people, the data engineering component is very interesting. And for some people, the like implementation component is really interesting. So that's something you should think about in terms of your own goals, your own likes and dislikes. As usual, thank you so much for watching this video and good luck on your data science journey.